Hey guys, I'm back again. Sorry it's been quite a while, but um, yeah, things have been a little bit hectic. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this in my last video, but um, yeah, uh, life um, got a little bit interesting. <laughs> I'm actually 34 weeks pregnant, so uh, I'm, we're expecting a, a new arrival within the next month or so, so very exciting. Um, so I figured I would start tinkering and prepping some of my orchids and my other houseplants um, just to make it easier just to maintain because you know I'm about to turn into a freaking zombie so yeah taking care of houseplants and, and getting my hands dirty and messing about with the repots is going to be yeah, yeah that's going to be a bit of a time challenge so i'm just prepping everything so all i have to do is water and care and hopefully uh, i don't lose any along the way uh, as for the orchids though so um i'll start with the orchid update because you know that's kind of the thing on this channel at the moment <laughs> um so my orchids uh i've done some reshuffling and uh, changed some things about for basically, as I said before, ease of care for uh, what's to come. Uh, and a lot of them are looking very good. They are looking very good. I am so happy. So I finally have um, a display of all kids that don't look all gimpy and crippled. So, yay. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with, uh, I think, Loopy, because I'm really happy with Loopy. Loopy is definitely one of my best success stories, I think, well, next to Orko. So my, yeah, yeah, he's, he's in there with the best success stories. He's, he's my strongest rescue orchid. And he grew a keiki. <laughs> so I'm just going to get him here. And yeah, here he is. So this is Loopy. And there's Sassy the keiki. It's the Sassy little keiki. And as you can see, the roots are absolutely nutter butter happy. There's a lot of vigorous growth. I think within a year, I could probably upsize this pot. Um, I, I prefer it to be a little bit more uh, snug in there before I do that. So, but uh, it's coming a long way. It's a, a lot of new regrowth. Uh, you can see sassy. Oh my god, Sassy has like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if I'm counting right, eight independent roots. Um, I'm going to do um, a video in a little bit so you guys can see me separate them. So yeah, that's, um, that's Loopy, doing very happy. Um, making happy things and yeah so there you go one happy well two happy orchids and then there is ah yes let's do orco orchid are so long. my first and original orchid so this is the this is the baby that started it all um as you can see it's quite a, a large one and I had some problems with the nightmare medium and some of the, the roots started rotting away. It, it, it had a good uh, root system, but it could be a lot better. You can see some roots in here. So hopefully that starts filling out and producing more big, healthy roots. It is actually producing, I don't know if you can see in there. A new leaf so that'll make six leaves and yeah so this one seems to be recovering nicely from the the bit of the medium disaster I can't complain he's sitting pretty and he's regrowing so all good things there and then there is Abdul Abdul um, yeah, again, he suffered some trauma from the nightmare medium. He had some issues with some rotten roots, but there was enough. It wasn't a complete disaster. Again, you can see it's 
some roots coming up against the side there. Looks much happier in the new medium. And she's perky, there's no wrinkles. So he's got some new leaves. So, uh, again, fairly uneventful. It's just health has vastly improved. Um, uh, let's see what else have we got here. Now, uh, yes, my mini fell. Um, again, uh, it wasn't really bad, but it wasn't really good either. So, again, I refreshed the medium when... I bought the new stuff, you can see a root there, you can see a new root up here, the leaves are again healthy, it doesn't seem to be any signs of distress on this one, so the, the new medium seems to be boding well with the orchids, so yay, <laughs> it's, uh, it's happy news. Um, and Okay, this one here, a rescue from my work. Uh, I'm, not quite sure what colour this one is, but I, 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 I know I'm seeing a purple tinge. Yeah, you can see here, and a little bit on the edge of the leaves, and you can see here. And I've noticed on. Let's see if I can get that in there. There's a new root coming through here, and it kind of has a. It kind of has a purple tinge to it, so I think this one is going to have some sort of purple colour to it. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be like the one I've got up there, which you haven't been introduced to yet, so I'm going to actually do another video on that one, and you guys can see what happens with that one. So, anyway, back to this one. So, this one I think is... Uh, yeah, is, is going to be a purple one. He's got some new roots. He's got a new leaf coming through. I don't, oh, bloody hell. I don't know if you can see the, the new leaf there. But um, yeah, this one is showing signs of a, of a good recovery. I took him out of water culture because, um, yeah, he, he really wasn't doing well in it. it it wasn't doing anything and I noticed there was a lot of mould that was starting to occur at the bottom of the crown and I treated it a few times, it kept coming back so I treated it, waited for it to dry out, got rid of the problem and I put him into wood chip very lightly on the surface, you can see he's kind of propped up with these two spike poles here and he seems to be doing a lot better in the wood chip so his leaves are no longer so leathery, they're actually feeling a lot thinner. There's some wrinkle damage you can see there, but I don't think that's that's ever going to heal. But um, yeah, this one is uh, definitely on the road to recovery. And I'm actually quite excited to see what colour he's going to turn out to be. So um, when something cool happens with this one, I will be sure to update. Um, Okay, and last but not least, this one also came out of water culture. This one's my other purple and white one. I rescued him, oh, I think it was like three years ago now, from um, the macro. It's like uh, this big supermarket store thing. And when I got him, yeah, I mean, for anyone that's that's bought a supermarket orchid, you know, they're not really cared for all that well. And generally, they're, they're so damaged that they die. Um, and this one, this one was very close to death. And I've been wrestling with it on and off. Um, I've tried water culture, I've tried chips, I've tried various different methods. And it was actually, in the end, the partial water culture that inspired, I think, seven decent roots to grow and they were quite long but after a while in the water culture again like with the other one I started getting an issue with mold starting to appear on the base of the crown and, and on some of the roots and treating it letting it dry out putting it back in doing partial water culture full water culture was completely out of the question it it was just not sitting right. So again, 
it worked for, for the other one, so I put this one again into wood chip. One, because it seemed the most logical thing to do if if water culture wasn't working, put it back into wood chips and hope for the best. <laughs> and two, it would be a lot easier, less for me to, to have to check up on when, when I really won't have much time to put into keeping a sharp eye on these kind of things. So he's been in here for uh, a couple of weeks now and he's got two new roots coming. So that's roots eight and nine coming through. His leaves are strong and perky. There's no floppiness to them at all. He's got new leaf growth coming through here. He's got new root growth coming through at the base of the crown here. So I think this one is going to recover after a three year fight. He put, and boy did he put up a fight, but um, yeah, it looks like I'm finally going to get uh, a healthy orchid out of this guy. So again, I will keep you updated. So that's about it for the for the uh, all the orchids that I put into the wood chip. I still have uh, a couple more to update you on, and um, those are the water culture ones. And again, I've made some changes. I have one left in water culture, but you'll see in the next video. So uh, until then, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.